KCCI's Cynthia Fodor is there to show us all the fun from today. Cynthia. That's right, Stacy and Kevin. A little wet, but a lot of folks actually enjoy a rainy day out here because it forces them to get up close with the animals, antiques, and a lot of unusual exhibits. First stop for the Johnsons, picking up ponchos. Next, the first food of the first day, a cheddar corn brought on a stick, a tradition they wouldn't miss even in the rain. We were still coming. <laughs> we wouldn't miss it. No fashion statements here today. It's not about looking cool, but staying dry. They look like they're in garbage bags. <laughs> Well, you know, they got a little bit of bling to them. They got a little I would say on the back and the hood. Most pork producers didn't need ponchos. You stand close enough to the hot grills, the water just dissipates. No problem. But don't stand too close to the fire like Dana Wonkin did, covered in plastic. Now I got I got more air conditioning now because I got more holes in my stuff. From pork chops to the swine barn, many ducked inside to get up close with the animals, like Borzilla and the biggest boars. Some found the porch a perfect place to perch and people watch. We've been in the animal barns. We've been in um, some of the restaurants to have coffee. Went on the tram, ride the tram around. Or take the tram back in time to a place most folks have never been, the State Fair Museums. What did you discover up here? All kinds of stuff that I didn't, never knew was here. Because, yeah, like I told you, we've, I've never been up this hill ever. And it's like, wow, there's museums and the... Wood carvers. No one here is going to let a little drizzle turn their fair experience into a train wreck. It takes a rainy day to force you to find hidden gems on the fairgrounds you might have never known otherwise on a hot, sunny day. And even I discovered the State Fair Museums today because even after being out here 20 years, I had never explored them before. They're right up here by Pioneer Hall. Definitely worth a visit. And while you're up there, one stop shopping, the museums, Pioneer Hall. And you can also stop in Grandfather's Barn for an Iowa wine experience. Stacy and Kevin? Oh, those are some great tips. Cynthia, thank you. Mm -hmm. Iowa,